So welcome back guys to another Black Ops 3 Zombies video and in this one I'm going to be taking a deeper look into the character of Nero Blackstone inside of Shadows of Evil in Black Ops 3 Zombies. Now we know that Nero was born into enormous wealth, he grew up surrounded by lackeys and psychopaths and a lifetime of constant praise and attention has only fueled his deeply misplaced arrogance and he was sent to Mork City by the Shadow Man for his sin of murdering his wife to collect the life insurance policy which she put him in debt. Now aside from all of that, the most important fact is that Nero is a magician and I'm going to take this video to look a bit deeper into Nero because I think he is holding some secrets from the characters and perhaps could even lead into future Zombies maps with the storyline. So sit back, relax, and let's dive a little bit more into Nero Blackstone. So we know Nero is a magician, but he's not a very successful magician at that. There are newspapers around the map, a particular one where it's a magazine called Magicians Weekly, where there's a picture of Nero saying Nero Blackstone's career is up in smoke. Worst magician of the year. Now we've also seen several posters around the map of Nero as well in various magician outfits performing different magician tricks. Stuff like Nero knows all, he will predict your future, Nero will award a million dollars to the man who can unravel the mystery of his greatest illusion, and Nero with the Hindu sword basket trick, will she emerge unharmed? Now we know these are all posters just to promote Nero's magician tricks and to kind of prove the legitimacy of his magician skills, but we know in the game that he's teased a lot about how his magician skills just really aren't up to par and he's kind of mocked a lot of the time. Well in my opinion there is a dark secret to Nero, a side that he's not really revealing and that's where I want to dive the most into to in this video. Now we're going to jump into some quotes now but just before we get into those just remember that all four characters have not been to Morg City before. They've been sent there as a punishment by the Shadow Man so they don't really know anything about what's going on but Nero seems to have some sort of idea. I can't imagine that a man such as yourself is able to comprehend the implications of this interdimensional convergence. This is an interdimensional convergence. Other galaxies, other realities are bleeding into our own for every key. Uh, hmm, there's a lock. There's a lock. I've seen this key in my dreams, perhaps. Maybe it's just an extraordinary looking ordinary key. Keys, always important, always worth keeping safe. I suspect this may be interdimensional in origin. Those quotes there were talking about the summoning key. Now, all the other characters have no idea what the summoning key does upon first spawning in and picking it up, but straight away Nero already has some sort of concept. He even mentions that he has seen this key before in his dreams. He also has a concept of interdimensional objects and for something where you've literally just been placed in an area that you don't know and to already know that an object is interdimensional makes me think that Nero knows a lot more than meets the eye. Let's continue. Is this a gift from another realm? An offering? To me? Well, somehow I, I sense that these weapons are not of this time period. <laughs> oh, I'm having another vision. I see a... Sword? Oh, such mysteries. Have we even begun to scratch the surface? So those quotes again tell us that there is something that Nero knows which the characters don't. How on earth can Nero work out that the weapons in Shadows of Evil are not from the time period? Well, I have a very good answer to that and we're going to go and gather that from more quotes. And these are going to be from multiple characters. And this is from an Easter egg step which is overlooked a lot of the time because thinking about it doesn't really make sense. But there are a ton of quotes to go along with this which actually open up Nero's storyline a lot. Now the easter egg step in question that you're probably wondering is actually to do with the flag step. Now in order to start that you need to go into Nero's lair and you need to activate a book. Now this is not just an ordinary book, the book floats up into the air, it has a weird glow from it and there's actually several character quotes which we don't really hear during the easter egg which say a lot about this book. Now this book is in Nero's lair so we can assume that it is Nero's and we're now going to listen to some quotes to talk about this book. This is a room of secrets. 
Do you know what I speak of? So, you're talking about some book, like it might explain all of this? Uh, yes, Detective. I've, I've read many books, but uh, forgive me if I don't remember the precise details of one specific book. Uh, what, what book? Ah, uh, this was the one book that I was afraid to read. The one book that gave me nightmares, even now. Uh, oh, I just can't. I just can't. So this is where it's all written down. How these guys fought those guys for their guy's shit. Yeah, I get it. If this book says what I think it says, this fight ain't over yet. Even if we can't fix things, we can at least show them we ain't pussies. This is all familiar. This is something I've seen. The undead, the huge squid thing, all of this. Oh, oh, it was in a book. The book, the book will show us the way. It foretold everything. So straight off the bat, listening to those quotes, we've revealed something dark with Nero. He's known about the events of Shadows of Evil before because it's contained within his book in his lair. Now, at first he claims that he's not looked at this book and in fact the book gives him nightmares, stuff inside there which probably has haunted him to do with perhaps his past or future, but we also have some backstory towards what happened in Shadows of Evil and in past Black Ops zombie maps. Now the past maps in question I'm talking about is actually Origins. Now I've made a separate video just on this quote along with a bunch of other little Origins easter eggs, but this is actually a quote from Jessica reading a little bit from the book. I'm a fast reader, blah 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 blah. For two millennia, the Keepers kept the forces of darkness at bay. That power is always dormant, just waiting to be awoken, just as it was on the battlefields of the Great War. Now how on earth has Nero's book managed to contain all this information about our characters in Origins as well as the Gatekeepers if he's never visited this time before? Well my theory is that Nero has tapped into some black magic and there's one quite suspicious poster on the map which is actually in the rift area and this is the only place you can find it. And it says Nero and his serpents from beyond. Now black magic is normally referred to the use of supernatural powers or magic for evil and selfish purposes and in this poster we can see what looks like tentacles very similar to the beast mode and towards the shadow man which we believe to be related or referred to HP Lovecraft's Cthulhu. There's a ton of Cthulhu references throughout the map and within the actual easter egg itself but this poster could symbolize the fact that Nero and the Shadow Man have had some sort of run-in before because it does look like the two of them have kind of clashed into a magician's trick where Nero is managing to spawn serpents in a crystal ball. Now that is quite a drastic theory and probably isn't correct in any way but that's just what I'm assuming but you can definitely see when you look at this poster that there is some form of link with Nero and the weird octopus in the sky that we get once we've unleashed the Shadow Man and completed all the rituals. Now there is definitely something Nero knows about this book which he is hiding from the other characters. So this fucking magic man, you think he knows something we don't? I mean all this shit seems right up his alley. Well I, I wish that were true but I don't think I'm any more sure of anything than you are. Look, this is a bad situation. You seem to be the only one who has any clue what's happening to us. Alright so this is where it's all written down, how these guys fought those guys for their stuff. I get it. I never claimed absolute knowledge, detective. I only speculated. I, I posited a theory. You know, clearly the whole world has gone completely insane. We may be better off, you and I, if we work together. Uh, you know, maybe it's the others that they really want. Do not anger me, creature. I have powers beyond your understanding. Maybe I've been chosen. I alone have been chosen. Chosen for some higher, higher purpose beyond the understanding of mere mortal men. Yeah, that makes sense. I may be mortal, but I, I'm definitely not mere. So now, lastly, looking at the book, either it's taught Nero something about the zombie storyline, or he actually has some affiliation with the old characters. Now listen to these quotes very closely. My, my, how I've traveled. Wow, I've traveled. Aha, uh -huh. Nikolai would have been proud of me. Is this related to the guy in the jar? So that first quote right there confirms that at some point Nero has done some time traveling of his own. He seems to know a lot about these interdimensions and he says that he's traveled. Oh my, he's traveled. 
very, very suspicious. And then those second last quotes were amazing. The first one being that Nikolai would have been proud of him. Now, when I first heard this quote, I was a little bit skeptical of him actually saying the word Nikolai, and I actually thought he was saying a slightly different word. That being Nikola, meaning Nikola Tesla, who is the Serbian-American inventor best known for his contributions to the design of the electric supply system. And I think you get this quote after you've um, zapped some machines in beast mode, which is why I thought he was saying Nikola. So he might be saying that rather than Nikolai. But if he's not saying Nikolai, then that last quote is insane. Let's take one more listen to it. Is this related to the guy in the jar? Now, at first when I heard this, it could very well be a quote referencing the Lil Arnie's, but he doesn't say thing or squid in the jar. He specifically says the guy in the jar. And looking at the zombie storyline, this fits in very well when talking about Dr. Maxis, where on Origins, he became infected at the dig site and he was on the verge of turning into a zombie. Sriptofin so straps Maxis down and preserves his brain by placing it inside of a jar, which is then inside of a drone. Now, we know in Shadows of Evil in the Rift era, there's a small little portal that becomes active once you've put the Pack-a-Punch on, and that is actually a message from Dr. Maxis himself. So there is some links with Shadows of Evil and Maxis. So how on earth does Nero know that Maxis is specifically in a jar? There is definitely some untold story with Nero Blackstone, which I think will affect the story some way as we go through and get the DLC maps. I feel like Nero is a very important character, and it may not be the last time that we see or hear Hear about Nero as there is a ton of information in his book, stuff which we've never heard of before until we play Shadows of Evil. But thank you for watching to the end of the video guys, if you did enjoy it just spare a second to hit that like button, I really would appreciate that. Let me know your thoughts and theories about this video and Nero in general down below in the comment section if there's anything else that I missed out, quotes that you've heard that I didn't mention, let me know, let's get a little discussion going and subscribe for more storyline videos like this. I'm going to have quite a few more coming out in the very near future, plus a ton of awesome live gameplays, easter eggs, all that great stuff. So, I'll catch you guys on another one. Take care.